Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance reading and it will be for January to February 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Libra. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month or two, the next month or two in terms of love. So what do we have please Angel Spirits Guides in terms of love? romance relationships for Libra January to February 2021 please what is the overarching energy for Libra thank you that flew out <laughs> okay interesting card so it's come out more reversed this I mean, I like this card reversed. Uh, it's the five of coins. Okay. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Librans. I'm going to pull three cards, Libra. First card is the issue or challenge you face in terms of love, romance, relationships. Whatever you see as an obstacle. The second card is advice from spirit third card is the outcome should you take the advice and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and as always it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so the challenge we have a challenge card we have the seven of wands two of wands is advice from spirit and the ace of pentacles lovely is your future outcome so let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Libra thank you <clears throat> what do we have for Libra thank you message for our lovely Librans Thank you. Okay, I'm just take the one that's turned up right. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, Libra clarifies the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the Moon. What is this Six of Pentacles? Let's clarify this Six of Pentacles, please. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles for Libra, please. Thank you. Okay, the world. Reversed. I mean, the world is reversed here. Let's clarify this Three of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Okay, Libra, what I'm getting here, it, it feels, it feels like there's some commercial angle that's affected your relationship. Because the, the pentacles energy, it can be to do with money, career, um, Whatever brings us stability and security, you know, I mean, that can be this pentacles energy, but the five of coins when it's upright, it can be a card of financial loss or changes in your financial situation that have made you feel the pinch, you know, it makes you feel um, challenged in terms of money in whatever context, whether that's to do with your money career, whether that's to do with um, poor investments or whether investment's going wrong or, you know, it's that kind of energy. But when it's reversed, I mean, I did say I like this because it's recovery from that. 
Now, if it's not to do with money and career that's affected your relationship here, um, it feels for some of you it has been a pervading theme. Some change in your financial circumstances has really affected your, your relationship. And it's the solidity. I mean, it feels like your foundation has been rocked here. Um, you're going to recover from it because this is a great sign of recovery. Can be financial recovery in your relationship. You know, I, I go with what the cards say. Um, it can also be if you felt a lack of self-worth, self-esteem, you are regrouping, recovering from that. So if somebody has made you feel a lack of self-worth, self-esteem, I definitely feel in this situation you are recovering from it. So, and it's definitely in the next month or two, there is definitely some wonderful change coming your way. Because it feels like something was never going to end. It was just never going to end. Uh, so, if I am talking about finances affecting your relationship, which I feel for some of you it has done, because the Seven of Wands is the challenge. Oh my goodness, this has felt nearly, this has felt overwhelming and there has been such a need to reconnect, to, to connect to your strength, your power, maybe as a couple, and to really dig deep to overcome something that seems so overwhelming. Um, yeah, but there's definitely an energy that you're going to get on higher ground with this situation. Now, it could be you've been challenged in other areas of your life. It could be by the other person in your life. It could be something that's come into your life that has challenged you, you know? Because we have the Six of Pentacles and the World card. But the World card, when it's upright, is, is a card of success. It's also a card of completion. Whereas when it's reversed, it is something just doesn't feel like it's ending. Now, the Six of Pentacles is, in terms of money, career, finances, you may have felt the lack. I mean, to be honest, this can be asking for charity, help, maybe from family, maybe from other people. Um, you know, it can be about charitable donations or uh, people being you know, giving some kind of charity. That this can also be an energy of um, feeling the lack. You know, the six of, of pentacles can be about breadcrumbs. Uh, it can be to do with the challenge in your financial situation having changed and feeling the pinch here. And it just doesn't seem like it's ever going to end. You know, it's that kind of energy. If it's to do with something other than that Libra, something that's affected your... Uh, lack of self-esteem, self-worth, which is definitely recovering in the next one month or two. So this is definitely recovering. Uh, the message here with the Six of Pentacles can be, it's your time to receive, put your energy in the right direction to bring closure to a situation now. If you're finding it challenged to bring closure to something or complete something in some way, there's definitely an energy of the challenge in bringing something to a close. Yeah. Or something testing you, you know, having been tested. I mean, the Six of Pentacles can be about putting your energy in the right direction uh, because it's the cause and effect energy with the universe, the Six of Pentacles. What you put into something is how you'll be rewarded. And there's definitely this energy of put your energy into bringing completion, closure to a situation now. It feels like it is on the cards, it is possible, but it feels it's evading you in your challenge position. This just never seems to end. So it's either to do with something that's affected your relationship in itself, or it can be to do with money and career having affected your relationship, love, romance. Because, you know, it can, can't it? You know, it's... And that's why I'm saying it could well be... This can be a third party situation, Libra, that has tested your relationship. And it feels like you've had to really dig deep to overcome this. It doesn't feel like, you know, you feel like, when am I going to get through this? You know, it can be that kind of energy. Um, because the two of ones in that case will be about making a clear decision because there could have been either some emotional pain or heartbreak caused you in a relationship that threw you off balance, that you were grappling to get balance back on. You know, the Three of Swords can be some truth coming to light, something that causes you emotional pain in a situation. 
and some choices that you may have to make about your future as a, re as a result of that. So it might well be for some of you that's what you're dealing with here. If it's to do with money and career, this can be juggling money. This can be something in your financial situation that has thrown you off balance in terms of money that you're grappling with. And the two of pentacles is saying, but you know, this person, even though they dance and juggle at the same time, they're, they're, they are not dropping anything. This is well within your capability to handle whether you know it or not, even though, even though you may not be aware of that. It can sometimes be about choosing between two options as well and just wrestling with that, you know, the two of pentacles too. So it kind of ties in with this a little bit as well, some choice or decision, two paths. And, you know, but it definitely for some of you, it feels like money and career has affected your relationship because the Three of Swords, it can be a card of emotional pain, but it's a, th it's a three and I'm kind of feeling it could be a third thing, a third thing that's affected you, your loved one, this third thing, this third external factor that has thrown you off balance. Hence the reason why I'm saying money career, changes in your money and career. So for some of you, it feels that will resonate. Love the energy of this because the moon is, even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. And you're to trust your intuition, how you move forward now, how you make choices and decisions. Go with what feels right. Go with what your instinct is telling you to do because whether you know it or not, you're being guided by God, the universe, the divine. During this time of, may could be emotional challenge, could be lack of clarity, could be when emotions are at an all-time high. Um, could be when you're questioning your faith as well, you know, for some of you. This is a card of hidden blessings. So you are absolutely being guided. And what are you being guided towards? Well, you're being guided towards this, the new beginning. Now... The Ace of Pentacles for some of you, Libra, it will be career financial opportunity, moving, relocating. So it might well be some choice or decision that you have to make is in regard to this appearing, which is the helping hand, the gift from the universe. So there's definitely this energy of <clears throat> you are going to come through this situation. You are being assisted by God, the divine, the universe. I mean, look, we have the Ace, which is absolutely beautiful, the hand of God, the divine. We have hidden blessings here and we have the Hierophant, the representation of God, the divine, the universe on earth in its physical reality. So we have a lot of you are being watched over, guided, just trust your instincts, find your flow. You will find the way forward towards this. You're being given hidden blessings and it definitely feels you'll come through the other side of this situation. The door will open. You can see that there and you will find that path forward. Now, like I said, this can be to do with moving home, an offer on your home, could be to do with um, you putting an offer on a new home. This could be a new job or a promotion or business venture, call it what you will. But it definitely feels, I mean, the Hierophant is a, have, a card of have faith. It's also a card of Taurus, which is about stability and newfound stability, security, success, safety. Um, that, that represents, I mean, the Taurus energy is, is a stabilizing energy. And it definitely feels for some of you, you're coming through a challenging time. But by these choices and taking empowered decisions, you're going to come through the other side of this situation. So whether it's to do with your relationship itself, some challenge in your relationship, the message is that you'll make the decisions that you have to. Again, by trusting your intuition, you are absolutely being guided towards this wonderful new beginning. And some of your choices may well be in terms of starting over, moving somewhere new. But again, money, career, finances, it definitely feels for some of you that you will, you will find that new way forward. Now, the Hierophant is a card of traditional institutions as well. So it does represent marriage. It doesn't represent long-term committed relationships. And hence why I'm saying, it, I feel for some of you, it's a third thing that's affecting your relationship that has caused a big test i mean at the end ultimately the three of swords is a test in a relationship um it's saturnian energy so it feels like you're going to come through the other side of this um and it could be and it, it definitely feels in this situation 
it feels like it'll strengthen your relationship. It'll bring you greater solidity and security in your relationship. There's definitely this energy of a deeper relationship forming as a result. If it's to do with your money, career, finances, or your ability to recover from a situation and find the path forward on your own or with somebody. So it feels whatever the outcome here, Libra, and I'm, I'm, I'm giving you both options because that's what I'm feeling. Um, it feels to me something has thrown you off balance, either someone's actions hurting you deeply and you wrestling with that and needing to make some empowered choices, decisions um, as a result of that. Or it can be to do with, like I said, it feels a third thing, which is money, career, finances. And the message is, well, you're going to recover from it either way. Either get your self-esteem, self-worth, solidity and security back in your life. This is a Taurus energy too. Or it is to do with um, recovery in terms of finances for both of you. Love the energy. Love the energy. So, very nice energy indeed. Um, beautiful reading, Libra. And I like these energies at the end because you're being watched over, guided every step of the way. Okay, so final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra, thank you. There is definitely something about choices on your future and overcoming this test. And it definitely feels in this situation you're going to because there is going to be some kind of completion because there's a new beginning opening up for you. And that's the beautiful thing here. Here we have the lion, honour honor your soul and celebrate its journey. The lion's also a symbol of strength. Um, and I definitely find that whatever this challenge has been, you've discovered that strength, that power to actually deal with something and make clear choices and decisions on how you move forward and bring a wonderful sense of recovery. Yeah. Lovely energy, Libra. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.